Alright, today I'm going to show you a video on how to replace the battery in one of these sealed um, boogie boards. This is the uh, model number at the back. This one comes completely sealed up and the battery is actually soldered in and I'll show you how you can get it out. So what you have to do is peel off the um, sticker, there's a sticker in front, that, peel that back, take off the QC label, and then um, it'll look something like this. And then you take out four screws, one, two, three, and four. And this one I believe is behind the quality control label. And then you just lift up this plastic uh, tab and uh, that reveals the, the uh, circuit board that runs this thing. And so then, just um, use the soldering iron very quickly to lift up these two tabs. These two terminals have been soldered right onto the battery itself. So this battery has an insulating plastic rim. Looking more closely at the connection between this uh, quotes soldered on terminal, looks like it's been spot welded on. So it's actually not going to come off with soldering. And I just tried it and it didn't seem to want to come off by heating it up with a soldering iron and so that's spot welded on there that's going to have to be basically cut off with a saw or I'm just going to have to make new terminal connections and that's probably what I'm going to end up doing so let's go ahead and here do I it. have a new battery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand the uh, back and front of the battery uh, down to be able to uh, allow solder to stick to it so basically by, sold, by uh, sanding both the, the positive face here and the negative face, I'm going to, I should be able to get something to stick to this so I can reconnect it. So let's see how that goes. Okay, I just sanded the back and front of it to rough it up so I can get solder to stick to it better. I'm about to solder this piece of thin copper wire. It's like 22 gauge copper wire. I've got a long strip of it so I can get the length right. So we'll solder this on one side and then also on the other side. Okay, here's everything finally soldered in place. Checking it out, it seems to work fine. I'm just going to see if it clears okay, which means the battery's connected. Here goes. There you go. Thanks for watching.